Aloha guys. This is one of my two uh, Komodos. This is the smaller one. This is the uh, 350. So what I'm gonna do is I already put the line on. So right now I wanna get this ready for use. So, um, you know, when you first get it, you, you're gonna have to preset your, your, your six studs. So what I'm gonna do is that, now this knob here, once you get it loosened, it's, it's gonna be fairly easy to, to tighten and loosen just with your your fingers or your thumbnail. But in the but it comes from the factory and it's all tight. It has to be. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna loosen this up a bit. I normally don't work with this type of reels, I normally work with spinners. Um, but you know you got to be well balanced you know and I pulled it out right instead of spraying WD-40 in there uh, gonna break the seal of this lube I'm gonna use the lube instead all right so I'm gonna put a drop of the lube in there and in there alrighty let me see I think I brought some tissue and okay Draw some tissues, wipe off the excess glue. All right, so now it's gonna be a lot easier to open and shut. Now you can use WD-40, but the lube is better. So, let's see now. There we go. See, it was like, it was like that. Okay, now I can take the plate off. All righty, so we got the plate off. Let's take a look at our settings here. We have two, four, six. We've got six studs here. Now, that they're all inside. Inside means that all the weights, the, the, the weights are in the inside. So when you cast, it's not gonna be free spinning a lot. Now, if you were to put all those studs further out, it's 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 going to, woo, it's, it's gonna, Birdness on you is it's gonna be a little bit hard to control. So I'm gonna first try Three I'm gonna alternate three of them. So I'm gonna go These little studs here the inside. I'm gonna push it out I'm gonna go One You can hear the click Two Three so I alternated I'm, I'm gonna try three, and that's just to see how we're gonna get by in the first day, okay? Snap it back on, there you go. Now, because it's lubed, I can finger tighten this back, like, like so. And we're gonna see how this works on that setting. I mean, in the field, you can make an adjustment in the field, but this is just to get us um, going. Now you got your spool tensioner here like you would on most big casters. So we're gonna um, play around with the um, tensioner, make sure that we get the right setting for the type of casting weight we're gonna use. All right, thank you. Okay, I'm also, I just took off the side plate. I put a drop of lube right there. So when the pin goes back into it, it's gonna have a better time. Um, if you want this to cast farther, I'm rubbing off all that grease off the wheel here. Because that grease is actually gonna slow you down. So I'm wiping it all off and I'm gonna put, um, Okuma lube on it instead. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit the um, the, uh, the the winder here. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to take off a lot of the grease, and I'm gonna put lube on it instead. That should free up some some of the restrictions you have on the casting. Okay, as you notice, I took off all that 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 excessive grease here I use lube on it instead 
and this, this is going to free up your, your um, casting distance doing this. Okay, as you notice, I cleaned the bar over here for the level wine. It is free of all that grease you see over there, and I use lube on it. So what's going to happen is now it's going to be about 10 to 20% faster. 